Hey guys, we're checking out another exposed module today. This one's called Exposed LED Control. It's available in the Exposed Installer. Now, this module allows you to control your notification light on your Android device per application. So let's say you wanted to have WhatsApp being a fast blinking green notification light, you could do that using this module. Now, you're probably wondering what's the difference between this module and an application like Lightflow that's available in the Play Store. Well, yes, essentially they do the same thing, but the exposed module does have some advantages. Because the exposed module works within Android, it doesn't need a service running in the background like Lightflow does. So you're going to save yourself some RAM usage and also some battery life. Not to mention you don't have to worry about the application being killed because, like I said, it's running within Android. So let's go ahead and check it out. So once that's installed and activated, just dive into the UI here. It's pretty simple. And by the way, it will put this application in your app drawer. You don't have to have it there, but uh, it will do by default. And you've got a kill switch to enable or disable. You've got configure colors per application. You've got the show icon in launcher, so you can disable that you if you want. And debug mode. So the main thing here is configure colors per app. So we'll dive into this and it populates a massive list of all your applications on your device. Even things like system UI are in here. So that's what I'm actually going to go to, the system UI, because that's the easiest thing to force a notification to actually show you guys how it works. So to actually turn it on, you need to tick the uh, application you want so in this case system UI and then tap the application to go into a new menu to actually customize the LED you've got enabled you can also mess around with ongoing notifications then you've got the LED control right here so you've got color on time and off time we'll dive into color and we'll just change it to a purple light for some reason for me the preview button just doesn't work you can see I press preview it says you may need to turn off your screen which I do and it just doesn't flash. So for me on my Nexus 5, the preview button doesn't work, but the actual application does. So we'll hit apply, we'll go back out, we'll change the, we'll leave the on time at 300, we'll turn the off time to, I don't know, 100. And let's go ahead and try that. So we'll force a screenshot and then we'll quickly turn off my display. And there you can see it, we've got a fast flashing purple light. So it does actually work when a notification comes through. Not sure why the preview doesn't work, but there you go. Now, one thing I have come across here is it only allows you to change up to five applications. Then you need to buy the premium version. So if we tick five things or six things, it comes up. You need to buy the unlock key to change LED settings for more than five apps. I checked out the price. It's about £1.50 in the UK. That's around £2.49 in US dollars, I believe. So yeah, if you have a lot of applications that you want to customize the LED for, you probably will need that unlock key. But this module should save you some RAM usage and also some battery life over using things like Lightflow. So yeah, peace out.